if uh, you're looking at this particular project and you have no sense of how much it's going to be to get you from where it currently is to Section 8 ready, ready to bring you in ten seventy five a month, I will tell you right now, you might as well do the same thing to your money that somebody did to this house, and that is set that on fire. Do you think we could get to the garage? I think we could, maybe. Yeah, go for it. All right, somebody blaze the trail for me. Yeah, a lot of bugs in my ear. Yeah. I don't know. It's nothing beats a long day of walking through houses, and then you end your day in a burned out place in Toledo. Nothing better. Dead squirrels. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch you giving it to you straight. You guys ever hear about them uber cheap houses, right? Those cheap, cheap, cheap houses you could buy in places like Detroit or a little south of Detroit. A little place called Toledo, Ohio. You buy these houses in these markets, man for pennies right you buy them for pennies i got one of those for y'all today 1329 peck street toledo 14.9 son fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars that's all you gotta pay for this house and then somebody's gonna rent it from you section 8 will probably pay almost 1100 right i'm thinking about 1075 but folks Let's not be nuts, okay? They're not just going to rent it right now. No, no, no. That's the dirty little secret to these houses that can be bought for pennies on the dollar, folks. They always come uh, in a situation uh, where you need to do a full-on renovation, right? And, of course, this particular house on Peck here is no exception to that rule, man. This is a house uh, that at one point in time was on fire, y'all. It was on fire. And as you can see uh, from the footage that my wonderful team of gentlemen uh, have captured for us here, uh, this house needs a full-on rental, right? You got to put the bad boy back together, right? Uh, if this is something that you are interested in doing, if you are a seasoned investor, a seasoned contractor, and you'd like to tour this particular property to go in there and get yourself uh, a complete scope of work and a complete uh, set of costs, that's totally cool. Just simply send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will get you into this property whenever you need to get in there so you could put that together and then send to us an as-is cash offer. If you are a brand new investor and you're looking at this like, oh, that looks like a cool deal, James. Let me renovate it. How much is the renovation going to be? This ain't your bag, dog. This ain't your bag. If uh, you're looking at this particular project and you have no sense of how much it's going to be to get you from where it currently is to Section 8 ready, ready to bring you in ten seventy five a month, I will tell you right now, you might as well do the same thing to your money that somebody did to this house, and that is set that son bitch on fire. Because if you have literally no sense of how to put together your own scope of work and your own bid uh, to take a house that is this distressed, that was literally burned to a crisp, other than to just ask me uh, in a YouTube comment or just shoot me an email, you're really not. You're not primed uh, for making money, right? You got to walk before you could run, folks. And if you're a brand new investor, uh, there are deals uh, and there is resources, resources that Holden Wise can provide to you to get you started in real estate. But I'm telling you, uh, this particular deal, this is like an advanced level deal. This one's not going to be for you. If you want to send us $15,000 and you want to try it as your very first deal, hey, man, more power to you. As long as your money is green, we will cash the check and you could rock and roll. But I'm telling you right now, as somebody who's done $200 million worth of investment sales in the great state of Ohio, 
Uh, this is not a good rookie deal. You should definitely be looking uh, for something with a lot less variables, right? Because putting together a scope of work on something this extreme, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of effort. You actually have to contact the city. You're going to be needing to go back and forth to the city, get inspections. Uh, because if it hasn't been condemned by the city of Toledo yet, uh, as soon as they get around to it and notice how jacked up it is, uh, they very much will condemn the particular property. When we spoke to the seller, he said it was not yet condemned, uh, but I don't want to let you guys think that it's a house uh, that shouldn't be condemned or won't be condemned. Just because it hasn't yet been condemned by the city doesn't mean it won't be condemned prior to you actually closing it, right? All they got to do uh, is, you know, notice it or, or get through the process and uh, actually have time to take care of that. You get cities like Toledo or you'll see this in Detroit or you'll see it in Cleveland, right? These are cities that are very bogged down. Uh, the city doesn't have as much resources as they probably should and things kind of slip under the cracks. Uh, so if it's not yet condemned, that's a situation where it slipped under the cracks and that doesn't mean it's going to remain there, right? You should fully anticipate the likelihood of this property being condemned uh, at some point, right? So you're going to have to go back and forth with the city uh, and get approvals and things of that nature for uh, your entire renovation. So uh, long story short, right, putting a bow on this particular offering. This is uh, definitely an expert level deal. I highly recommend this deal for investors who've done deals like this before, who know what they're doing. And if that is you, uh, you know how much money you can make on a particular property like this. If you're interested in uh, submitting that as this cash offer or touring it, again, send that offer to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Other rookies out there, if you're thinking you could send us offers like that are financed, that's bad shit crazy. No way. Uh, if you're thinking you could send us offers that are cash offers and then you send us your proof of funds and it's like a hard money loan, we know you're an idiot and we know you're not actually going to be able to close the deal uh, because people that think that a hard money loan is cash are an idiot because you have a hard money loan pre-approval letter. What is the L? You know, they, they abbreviate hard money loan as HML, folks. What does the L stand for? It fucking stands for loan, motherfuckers. It stands for loan, right? So if you're like, yeah, we'll pay cash, and then you send us a hard money loan pre-approval, we're probably just going to have to ignore you uh, because you're not going to get us to the finish line. You're just going to waste our time because you, you have no idea what you're doing. And I'll tell you right now as a favor or benefit to you, sir or madam, who might think that is a reasonably intelligent strategy. It is not, and this particular property is definitely not for you, because if you don't even have $15,000 in your bank account, you got no business buying this particular property, because the cost to renovate this property is going to be three, four, five times uh, the amount of the purchase price, right? So, uh, in summary, those who know what they're doing, sales at HoltonWise.com, those who are brand new, I'd love to help you out with real estate. I'd love to help you learn how to do the game, do the biz, learn the biz, make some money, get you to the point where you can actually make money on a deal like this. But this ain't the way to start. If you want to start, simply click the notes below this video to book a free call with my team, and we will talk to you how you could actually work with me in a one-on-one -on -one fashion, and I'll get you started in out-of-state investing, new investing, turnkey investing, flipping, wholesaling, whatever you want to do. I could hold your hand and walk you through the process. And season investors, let's do this deal. Let's go. You know, nice little kickback for. Uh, there's not even an upstairs. Head start on repairs. Yeah, no, there's no upstairs. This is it. It was well, a one you, bedroom. If you go right outside that door and look to the right, there's a cellar entrance. The, who the fuck is going in the cellar? Yeah, I don't think. Well, no one's going down there. I'm just I'm pointing. I mean, it's fucked. There's there's huh. no gas, there's no meters. Do you think we could get to the garage? I think we could. Maybe. Yeah, go for it. Alright, somebody blaze the trail for me. Somebody blaze that 420. I don't know Ooh. how we're gonna do that. <laughs> you think that's heavy? Can you just like drag that tree? Maybe? I think, yeah, from the left over there, it's probably about that. Alright, there I go. It's on the toilet at least. Say you tried. Smell weed back here too. Could be scum. Or somebody just smoking back here. Like over Never here. Know. There's a big hole. <laughs> yeah, don't fall in that Don't fall in that shit. Oh, there's an alley back here, dude. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
lot of bugs in my ear. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Old people living up in here. This right here, this is where you come to party. And there's the house. What's for dinner? I'm in. Yeah. Come around the back, dude. It's spacious back here. What's up, cat? Yeah, if you guys just come through the little empty lot here, you can get in. There's like a chair and stuff back here. It's kind of nice. That's cool. It looks like somebody's been in here, not super recently, but recently. Whoa, it's the original Xbox controller, dude. Not even the Duke. It's like that second one they came out with. Not that I would know nothing. Burnt spoons. Huh? Track phone. Milks. Alright, that's pretty much it. This place kind of sucks. Good luck to whoever the fuck tries to get in there. Yeah. Where's that squirrel at? Right front of the toilet. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, where are we going to put the lockbox? <laughs> Just throw it on the ground. There, dude. It's oh, I got it. Right there. Put the put it on this stool right here, and then put the stool in the middle of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, check out that. But there's no keys to even. He's right in front of the toilet. There's no keys to even put in the lockbox. <laughs> so you just <laughs> just make it look like somebody was here. That should keep people out. Right. Yeah. Basically. The toilet. Oh, dude. Yeah. How would I miss that? <laughs> I thought that was probably standing on, bro. Good luck. Filmed a couple of properties, two of them full as an occupied. I may have converted one of the tenants and get her to uh, pour it over her CMHA voucher or her Lorraine voucher, CMHA. We're always looking to house people. That's what we do here, holding lies. At the end of the day, it's about selling people houses, getting people into houses. Just the real estate game in general, right? I think uh, my boss would agree with that. Uh, I don't know. It's nothing beats a long day of walking through houses and then you end your day in a burned out place in Toledo. Nothing better. Dead squirrels we saw today. We saw uh, just wild crackheads just out and about doing their thing. So, you know, end of the day, we ran the game, but let's see what's going on over here. I was telling these, uh, I was telling the fine people of YouTube about our day, how we saw a dead squirrel, we saw wild crackheads, we saw that... We saw drunk people saw driving around at noon. Drunk people. It's too bad I was inside the store being accosted by people to come outside. Yeah. I like your mustache. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.